Okay, so first up, the myth that water repels flies. Oh, finally we're testing this one. I mean, this one's been going berserk on the fan site forever. The myth being that if you want to repel flies from your property, you just hang a bunch of clear bags of water. Clear bags of water, no additives, nothing else? Nope, just water. That's insane. Tell that to the flies. According to the fans, this is a no fuss, no buzz solution. Decking your house with bags of water will keep flies away. But could H2O alone really create a no fly zone? All right, well, this seems pretty straightforward to test. We get a room full of flies, we take two pieces of meat, put them on either sides of the room, hang a bag of water over one piece of meat, and see which ones the flies go to. Okay, well, I have two questions. First of all, how many flies should we use? Uh, we need a pretty big sample size. Let's start with 5,000. Okay, here's a better question then. How are we gonna count them? You know what, flies don't live that long. I mean, we could just let them die naturally and then count them then. Perfect. Okay. So to answer the fan furor, Tori creates a home for the flies, while Carrie explains just why this idea might work. Now flies have prismatic vision, and since a bag of water is going to reflect and refract light, it will create a field of high optic flow, which is going to tell the fly that there's something in his way, essentially creating a bug lighthouse, warning it away from the rocky shores. Flies have compound eyes, consisting of thousands of lenses, which means they see a mosaic image of their surrounds. So the theory is the light refracted through the water is amplified, and this deters the flies. Now this fly box is made up of three equal compartments, sectioned off by trap doors. Now in the middle section, that's where we're gonna be holding our flies. And on the end sections, they're both gonna have a piece of meat. However, one of the sections is gonna have a bag of water. Then what we're gonna do is open up our trap doors and see which piece of meat the flies go to. The one with the bag or the one without. Yep, it's a simple plan. And with Tori's fly box complete, now all they need is... So to put this myth to the test, we need flies, and a lot of them. Look, Maggie! Oh, God! That's All right. crazy! I've had nightmares like this. Ugh. Now, the flies that we've chosen are common house flies. Why have we chosen them? Well, we know that they're attracted to rotting things, particularly rotting meat. Smell this. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. This would be like a buffet for Bear Grylls. Uh, uh, <laughs> you're freaking me out. They're just like cute little grains of rice that squirm around. <laughs> no, back off, back off, back off, one. back off, back off. Uh, uh. All right, that's it. That's all the maggots. Let's close it up. And with that, it's just a matter of sitting back and waiting three days for the maggots to metamorphosize into flies. Come on, you filthy maggots. Get in there and grow. We need 5,000 healthy soldiers pronto. So as you can see, our 5,000 flies have finally hatched. We have our very own swarm. And now it's time for our final experiment. Here's how it's gonna work. Box number one and box number three will each have a chunk of rotten meat in it to attract the flies. But only box number one will have a plastic bag filled with water. We'll open up the doors, let them go for an hour, then close them and count the flies. Okay, now it's time to put our essence of attraction to either side of our fly box, which is going to be rotten meat. Because flies like meat, but they love rotting meat. It's like catnip. There's a decomposing protein called cadaverine that just, it gives off this delicious smell to them that, that they just can't resist. Ding, 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 chow time! <laughs> that smells so bad. This putrid meat has been fermenting for 10 days, and with an identical amount in each chamber, it'll certainly attract the flies. Let's see if this thing repels the fly. They're sealed in. Okay, 60 minutes with the doors open, go! Remember, because fly eyes consist of thousands of tiny lenses, supposedly the refraction of light through the water bag will be amplified and create a confusing obstacle. So we just opened the trap doors inside the fly box to release the flies. Now what do I think is going to happen? I have a feeling once those flies smell that rotting meat, they're going to go straight for it, and that bag of water is going to do nothing to deter them. Tori could be right. So far, the water bag is doing nothing to deter the flies from their fetid feast. We do a lot of exciting things on this show. Explosions, guns, sharks. But believe it or not, will a bag of water repel flies is the most demanded myth on our website right now. 
You asked for it, and here it is. But halfway through, it's looking dubious. Look at that. Apparently, bags of water attract flies. A quick time lapse, and 30 minutes later, the free range feasting is up. Now we can start counting flies. Well, actually, not quite yet. They have to wait a week for the flies to uh, drop like flies. God, that's a lot of flies. All right, let's clean them up and weigh them. All right. Oh. Uh, here's a dirty job for you. I'm going to have to say this is up there in the grossest things we've ever done. Ew. This is pretty disgusting. With both sets of flies collected. Time to get counted in the name of science. It's time to weigh in on the water bag theory. All right, so these are the flies from the compartment without water. And they weigh 20 grams. All right. Hey. Well, these are the flies from the compartment with the supposedly fly repelling a water bag. All right, ready for the moment of truth? Yep. Oh! oh! 35 grams. This one's busted. It's only busted. It's ridiculous. Yep, looks like a bag of water does not work as a bug repellent. Tell that to the fan site. <laughs>